I don't even know what time tempted me to go and cut off my lashes. I cut off this lash. I think I also like trimmed this one. I normally have highest I normally do is like 14 inches. Yeah, the first week it was it was cool. But right now I'm not really feeling it. Welcome to today. I just go up and work and today was really crazy. So this is the weekend after the the second phase of the election. And to be honest. It is what it is actually like i'm just tired of talking like you know the first time it was a deep sense of hopelessness until our man our oku take him and you know give us hope again the speech he made was it on the second of march yes that speech really really gave me hope and i know it gave millions of nigerians hope but then again after this um, governorship election it was like i see they wanted to take us back again but we refused it's just sad how things just turn out in this country like you know even the the way thugs were attacking people it wasn't that bad in the presidential election but this time around it's like their eyes open and they felt that the way forward is to attack people like why one thing i've taken from this whole thing is that the hope is what we have is all we have like we have to keep up we have to keep that hope alive optimism is all we have and so we have to hold on to that i'm just trying to stay positive i'm just trying to stay optimistic because actually the whole thing can just make you really really sad one thing i've taken out of this whole thing is i'm going to focus on my hustle i'm going to focus on myself i'm going to focus on my focus okay um for many people it was a phase a phase of hopelessness from hopelessness to sadness to anger to <laughs> what i where i am right now is for me to focus on my focus like get better on myself get my craft better do things better and all that because at the end of the day if we still have a good president and we're still like and i'm still not a better person you know that difference is not really complete welcome to a week in my life that's what this vlog is going to be about obviously i'm a nine to five mother so i'm going to carry along you know all this good stuff so um welcome all right i'm on my way back to oh what am i saying i'm on my way to work <laughs> and i realized that our tires are down so we're here to pump our tires I really do hope that that traffic I'm seeing in front is not really traffic. Let it just be ghost slow. There's even between ghost and traffic. So yes, today is blessed. I prophesy that this day will bring forth miracles, will bring forth answered prayers, will bring forth peace and joy. So have a good day.
Chumoli. Anyways, this is our onions and this is our oil. Laya! Please, can you get that girl? But she, she, she really wants to enter this vlog. What is it? What is it? Hey! Oh, my God. I don't want to enter this vlog. I'm not coming on the vlog. You, you, you will enter the vlog. <laughs> Follow the vlog. <laughs> this is how we cook. We have put the onion. onion? The onion. <laughs> the abas. We have put the abas. We are going to allow the abas now to, you know. What is that in English? What? To saute, okay? I'm going to saute the onion, the abas. Show them the others. Alright, so the next thing we're going to add is our, is our ground tomato, tomatoes. We add that. We add that. Okay, I'm not going to use all of them, so I mean, I should use all of them. It will be too much, right? So, yeah. Um, we have added that. This is becoming like I don't really enjoy cooking, but that's not true. <laughs> Have you ever seen all those, all those um, food, is it food channel or food whatever that will not have guests that ordinarily don't like cooking? You can see it through their body language. So this is me trying to be one of them now. You know, my hands is like this. So we have added our whatever and we are going to now allow it to fry. I am going to, you know, start clearing up everywhere because I don't really like to you know, cook in dirty environment so I like to cook and clean at the same time please put this in the freezer um, please don't do this thing that I'm doing because <laughs> what is my yaranya? what is it? or hmm? if you don't wash your hands and for me so even when I wash my hands so it's still there but I mean if you don't I wash don't your care. hands and you do something else anyway you yeah, are your own okay? <laughs> And your own. I mean, I'm already used to pepper and all that, so that's why I can get away with it. If you're not used to pepper, please don't try this now. I don't do it because, <laughs> because it's gonna end up. Please, let me bring bring it up and pump. Let me get the crayfish. And uh, meanwhile, nothing much is happening right now. So cover. Let's just leave this. Oh, I'm not supposed to cover it. Yes, you're supposed to cover it. Well, it's frying now. Do they normally cover it when it's frying? I don't know. Anyway, how do you guys even do it? Like, I'm not used to this kind of light. We will just leave it open like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to pound the crayfish. I'm going to wash it and then we pound, okay? In the loop. <laughs> So, cameraman, please show them the stage we're in. Where cameraman, the cameraman, oh, cameraman, keep on. Oh, sweetie, sweetie, hello. <laughs> Forgive me, the crayfish is pounding. So we allow the mixture to, you know, cook. Smess me. What, what's English? Smess me. Smess me. So for this dish, I'm going to show you my secret ingredient. <laughs> is dry fish. See, if you have ever cooked your stew with dry fish, <laughs> where are you living? Under a rock? <laughs> Please, this in your stew makes a difference, okay? I'm going to wash that. Yeah, show them. I'm going to wash that and then I will, you know, add it to the to the mixture. The star of the show, the master chef, she's the one giving us all the direction. See, she said we should blend with this instead of pounding in the mortar and pesto. But I'm a village girl. I like to use mortar and pesto. So sorry, my darling chef. Um, so for this stew, I don't really want it to fry. Let me know how you like your stew, okay? Me, I don't really like my stew to fry, you know. Yeah, boy, yeah, boy, yeah, boy. I don't like to do that. I don't like my stew to fry. We don't even like 
fry stew in this house. We like to, yes, we allow it to cook for a while and then we add the ingredients, you know, so that we can still get the vitamins and the minerals and the, all the good things inside the tomato. You get me? So, yeah. So, where we are right now is just tearing, tearing, tearing. Yes, Candele. If you, are, if you are looking for mommy, mm. she's downstairs. She's downstairs for mommy. Okay. So this is our crayfish and pepper mixture. I'll add that. Nothing much. It's time for our spices. I'm going to be using this thyme leaves from Members Mark. Let me bring it so you'll see it as they used to do it. Can see it, right? Mm -hmm. Do you know the blurry or thing? Is it blurry? Okay, focus. Yes, focus. Yes, yes. That's focus. Yeah, is it focus? Yes. Good. <laughs> so now we we'll add it. This is the quantity I used to make my stew. I don't know. So yeah, we have the time inside. The next is um curry powder, salt free, also from members mark. It don't focus. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> we I don't I don't have patience to be using that there. Uh, this thing I like to scoop it out like this, and I add is that even enough? Add some more. This quantity is fine. So I know normally we're supposed to use this part. I'm supposed to use this part normally, but I don't have that patience, and I feel. When it comes out from these holes, that came out wrong. But when it comes out <laughs> from here, <laughs> when it comes out from here, I feel like you cannot really control the quantity that you add. So I normally scoop it out to adjust. The next thing I'm going to add. Oops. No, I wanna. <laughs> but I have, I have, um, I have more salt. Oh, we also have some seasoning cubes, aka maggie. I don't add a lot. About one, one and a half cubes is usually enough for me. So yeah, this is the seasoning cube. In case you don't know what it looks like, from no, okay. No, in case you watch this video, sponsor your hair, okay. I use no every day, so reach out to me. And we'll talk. And you'll enjoy me in terms of YouTube, not to any other time. <laughs> All right, this is what our mixture is looking like. Yay! Uh -huh. And then, of course, our salt. Okay? Can no come and keep messy. <laughs> When you're washing fish, don't you don't you use to eat the fish when you're washing it? I'm not sure myself. So in with our dry fish is our um, fried chicken and beef, okay? So I fried this chicken and beef like some time ago and I used the stock to cook something else. So this still ain't got no stock. Alright. Um I'm going to just set out the feed because I always like to have fried fried meat and all that in my freezer because of in case it is this okay. Can I add more? I'm adding more chicken, more dessert. Um more beef actually this beef is only me it's only me that eat this beef because every other person eats chicken i don't eat chicken so the beef is mine i think we'll leave this for some other time stir we give this a quick stir and let it let it soak in the juiciness of the tomatoes and the onion and the spices and all that this is how i like to make my stew when it, when it has now soaked it in you know, and now add 
a little bit of water. See? This is it. So we're going to quickly wash the rice. Again, I'm washing it like someone who hates cooking. So I'm just like, you know. What's going on? <laughs> so. Mm. It smells good. It really does. So as that has happened, it has soaked in all the juiciness of the tomato and the sauce and all that. I'm just going to add a little water. Ain't no time for watery stew here, okay? See how I like my stew. See how the only ones is, you know, visible. I like it. I love it like that. Some people don't even like seeing onions. Me, I love seeing onions in my food. I love seeing it like this, exactly like this, like this, like this. Yes. Billion dollar question in this video is Are these bananas or are these plantains? This is the find thing. out in the next episode. <laughs> ding ding ding! You can see the spoons that are digging into the rice. Mm. It's still the bag. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? You want plantain chips? Yes. It's about to rain. I don't know if they're out. Okay, we're looking out for plantain chips now. If you see, let me know. Oh, Egypt for me, go Zizi. I don't have cash on me. But don't worry, when we get to the house, I'll come up with cash. I see plantain chips. I'll buy for you. Mm, see my face, see my skin. Oh my god. Hey Jesus. <gasps> Jesus, face card is choking. It choke. It choke. <laughs> it's Friday. Just pick the kids from school. We're heading home. From home, we we'll head to the church because we have church activities today. We stopped over here to buy fuel. Yes, come Can you join the vlog? Yes, you can join the vlog. Say hello. Hello, yo, 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 people. This is Grand Grand. This hey is what? Lady. This is getting quite a lot of that. You can't stop me. So I just came back from church. Nothing much happened in church. Like it's just basically church activity. So I did not vlog that. Dinner is jollof rice. Good morning. Saturday morning. Um, the kids are having breakfast. Breakfast is left about the love fries from last night. We have school activities. Why are you looking at me? See them. We have school activities. Today is post day in your school, right? Yes. So you better finish your food. Come down your hair. If you don't come down here, you're not leaving this house with me. We're not taking them. We're not taking them. We better eat and go and comb your hair. So we're rushing now. This is my full outfit. I wanted to show you what I'm wearing for this post day. I can't believe it's a year already because the last time I went for this event in my children's school it was when I was pregnant last year with my last child. But yeah, we're late, so we are running late and I will see you when we get there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm doing. And this Korean president is William Ruto. Yeah, I'm not for name. Who 